Call the meeting to order and call on Councilor Brown. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Call the roll. Councilor Brown. Here. Councilor Jennings. Here. Councilor Broughton. Here. Councilor Watson. Here. Councilor Barton. Here. Mayor Loveless. Here. We have a quorum to do business. Approval of the July 25th, 2024 regular meeting minutes. Mayor, the motion we approve our last regular meeting. Second. I have a motion by Councilor Watson, a second by Councilor Broughton to approve the July 25th, 2024 regular meeting minutes. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Councilor Brown? Yes. Councilor Jennings? Yes. Councilor Broughton? Yes. Councilor Watson? Yes. Councilor Barton. Yes. The minutes for July 25th, 2024 are approved. The next item is a public hearing to consider the abatement of nuisance at 713 Auction Street, Bruton, Alabama, due to weeds and or grass. And I call the city clerk. Um, Mayor, if you will just open the public hearing and allow um, anyone to speak in favor or against. Hello, my name is Bridget Robinson. My brother and I, DeWitt Robinson, are joint owners of the property on Auction Street. Um, we are working diligently to maintain the property and understand it has been a challenge in the past, but looking forward to maintaining it so that it is not a problem for the city or for that facility. Asking for, um, to table this today, give us another 90 days to get it completely cleared off and move uh, forward. Thank you. Thank you. And Mayor, you can. Is there anyone else who would like to speak on this? If not, again, I'll call on the city clerk. I'll close the public hearing. For a motion. Just, you just close the public hearing, and when we get to the resolution, we'll talk about tabling. Okay. Okay. The new business approved the July 20th. I closed the stick, I closed. Okay. Hit your stick. They wanted you to hit your stick. <laughs> he did hit his stick. First time we're having one where we're going to lay on the table. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit confused. Okay. <laughs> I, I'll get to it. Okay, Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> New business approved the July 2024 accounts payable. Motion to approve uh, July 2024 accounts payable. Second. I have a motion by Councilor Brown, a second by Councilor Barton to approve the 2020, July 2024 accounts payable. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Councilor Brown. Yes. Councilor Jennings. Yes. Councilor Broughton. Yes. Councilor Watson. <coughs> yes. Councilor Barton. Yes. The July 2024 accounts payable are approved. The next item is to approve the abatement of nuisance to the weeds and, and or grass at subject property located at 713 Auction Street. That's resolution number 24-0812-1. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion that we table that resolution. Second. I have a motion to table this resolution by Councilor Watson and a second by Councilor Brown. Is there any further discussion? And we're going to table this for 90 days? Yes, sir, 90 days. Any further discussion? Councilor Brown? Yes. Councilor Jennings? Yes. Councilor Broughton? Yes. Councilor Watts? Yes. Councilor Barton? Yes. Resolution 24-0812-1 has been tabled for 90 days. The next item is to approve the City of Bruton's Fiscal Year 2025 Budget. That's resolution number 24-0812-2, and I call on the City Clerk. Councilors, um, just so that everyone knows the budget process, um, what I do is I start working on it in April and May, and then we turn these reports over to department heads. Department heads then come give me back their reports to explain what they need or want or how they want to do their budgets um, and then I compile all the information um, after that's complete I meet with the mayor 
and once the mayor feels good about the budget we schedule a meeting with the budget committee and we have three counselors on that budget committee um, we meet and go over the budget in its entirety and review any questions they may have or concerns after they feel good about the budget we send the rest of the council the budget report and offer to sit down with those counselors or provide any information they might need. Um, Councilor Watson brought up a good point earlier in the workshop that perhaps we have a budget workshop meeting next year and I'm certainly open to that okay. idea. Um, notes on the budget for this year, I just want to say this is the departmental overview. We have lots of departments, um, the general funds, the enterprise funds, and the reserve fund. Um, the reserve fund is like a, a wish list if funding is available. We certainly can complete some of those projects in that list. Um, but those are all our departments and then this kind of matches the previous one and shows you what the general fund and the enterprise funds are. The next slide will give you the total. I've been very conservative this year. As you can see, we, we didn't go up a whole lot on the FY25 budget from FY24. Inflation has, has been a contributing factor to expenses this year. We have seen an increase in, in expenses in every department, um, not only due to inflation, but due to lack of supply of some of the items we need, for instance, pipe, or just, just an example. But we're seeing that across the board. We are seeing our city taxes still increasing each year, but because we're seeing such a large increase in expenses, it, it kind of the gap shortens a little bit um, so I've been very conservative just because you know I'm hearing that the inflation and possible recession and all these things are coming up so I've been very conservative um, on this year's budget for that reason um, we will be evaluating business licenses that's something I've mentioned we haven't done that in, in quite some time the business license fees um, that process will start in the next couple of months and it will have to come before the council obviously before we pass anything it's an ordinance but those fees haven't been updated in quite some time so that's a way to recoup some of these larger expenses um, the auditor as she mentioned when she was here felt really good about the city's position she did mention this wasn't you know the greatest year but the city looks really good and really solid um, and they spend a lot of time in our books. So, um, but, but the business license, I mean, there's a set fee we charge everybody. It's different well, rates. it's a, it's like a cat. There's a lot of categories. So it depends on what kind of business you are. If you're, you know, a, a store, a retail store versus like an insurance agent, there are different fees. So it will be something that I will have to present to y'all, and you'll have to see what the fees were. What yeah, we're proposing. across the board. Time. Right. It'll be across the board. Um, so it's going to take a minute for us right. to, okay. there's so many categories. Okay. Okay. Um, and my plan is to look at towns close to us that are comparable in size and see how we match up. Okay. Um, but that'll be something that's coming in the next few months. Business licenses obviously start in January, so we want to get that done before January. Okay. okay. Thank you. Um, but this is the budget, uh, that the resolution that we have in place for this year's budget. and if. Mayor, if you would like to entertain a motion on the budget, we can certainly do that. Entertain a motion to approve the uh, budget, uh, and that's resolution number 24-0812-2. Motion to approve resolution 24-0812-2. Second. I have a motion by Councillor Brown, a second by Councillor Barton to approve resolution 24-0812-2. Is there any discussion? Brooke, I have a question. Uh -huh. uh, with regards to the budget, is there any accounting in there for the American Rescue Account funds that we were awarded a couple years ago? Well, it, it covers a couple of years. We got those funds, I think, three years ago. So it covers multiple budgets. But I can certainly get you an accounting of that if you would like. Well, we've spent some of that money, correct? We have spent some of that money. And do we know when the window closes of when it has to be spent? Well, we have to allocate it by December of this year. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll have to turn in a report by the end of this year to say either we have this much left and this is our plan or um, explain where we've spent the dollars. We received about a million dollars initially. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. I, I, I can get a, a report of that of sure. where, we, where we spent it. All yeah. right. Thank you. You're welcome. Any further discussion? Hearing none,
Councillor Brown? Yes. Councillor Jennings? No. Councillor Broughton? Yes. Councillor Watson? No. Councillor Barton? Yes. Resolution 24-082-812-2 is approved. The next item is to approve a temporary lease agreement with Alabama Power at the Brute Municipal Airport. That's resolution number 24-0812-3. May I have a motion to approve resolution 24-0812-3? Second. I have a motion by Councilor Watson, a second by Councilor Broughton to approve resolution 24-0812-3. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Councillor Brown? Yes. Councillor Jennings? Yes. Councillor Broughton? Yes. Councillor Watson? Yes. Councillor Bart? Yes. Resolution 24-0812-3 is approved. I received a, a letter of resignation from Mark Manning on the uh, City of Bruton School Board effective August the 16th. He is moving away from Bruton. Uh, Mark has done an excellent job for a number of years and went out of his way to meet uh, with a group of interested citizens and explain what's coming up in the future, what uh, was done in the past and the procedures. And I thought that was a, a very good and informative meeting. I appreciate Mark doing that. Um, so I'm appointing a Nominating committee to uh, fill that seat. That's Councillor Brown, Councillor Broughton, and Councillor Barton. Next item is to appoint a City of Bruton Tree and Beautification Board member. It's a mayoral appointment, and I appoint Millie Murphy. What was that name? I'm sorry. Millie Murphy. Thank you. Yep. Appoint uh, Bruton. Uh, Waterworks board member. That's a council appointment, and I call on Councilor Watson. Okay. Now, I, myself and Councilor Barton, we talked with uh, Beverly Maldonado. If you'd like to be serious, so I'll put up on my motion to reappoint Beverly Maldonado back to the water board. Second. I have a motion by Councilor Watson, a second by Councilor Broughton to reappoint Beverly Maldonado to the Bruton. Waterworks Board. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Councillor Brown? Yes. Councillor Jennings? Yes. Councillor Broughton? Yes. Councillor Watson? Yes. Councillor Barton? Yes. Ms. Maldonado has been reappointed. Meeting is adjourned. Okay.